Good evening, everyone. I'm Craig. And I'm Mel. And you're with Love and Diz World. And tonight we are at Disney Springs on a very hot evening. But we are super excited because we have dining reservations at Paddlefish, which is directly behind us. It is a visually uh, stunning looking restaurant. It's basically a big paddle boat right here in Disney Springs. And we can't wait to get inside and try the food as we've never eaten here before. No. So we're going to go inside and you're coming with us. See you there. So we just got seated here at Pound Fish and it is a beautiful restaurant. We've not been here before, but everything is stunning. It kind of gives a Narcoozies vibe to it, um, but you're on basically a boat and we would be at the front of the boat. We've got these huge windows in front of us, which we have these great views of the water and uh, Saratoga Springs, as well as the back of the boathouse. Um, beautiful lights. Um, they keep everybody very spaced out, which is very nice for the social distancing. One thing that I thought was really kind of interesting is they gave us these paper bags and explained that the paper bags are actually for the masks uh, to put in so the masks don't sit on the table and get dirty, which, I mean, that's genius and it's really nice. Uh, menu looks terrific. It's going to be a great meal. Here's my appetizer, which is the lump crab cake. Uh, has some scallions on top, so it looks like some corn slaw underneath. Not exactly sure what everything else is. Can't wait to try it and see what it's like. And here's Melissa's uh, appetizer, which is a side salad. Also looks phenomenal. So I got the crab cake, and um, I think I figured out what it's saying on it. It kind of looks like a fried onion. Or a battered onion. Um, it also has a corn slaw and uh, a lot of little scallions. Let's give it a try. I know, like at first they were doing 600, but Florida only gives you 275. Wow, the crab itself is very succulent. Without the really good tasting crab. Yeah, without the a lot of interesting yeah. flavors going on. You have some of the spice from the scallion, a little bit of heat from the onion underneath, mixed with some sweetness from the corn slaw, and the crab itself is just salty and buttery. So many different flavors that just kind of work together. So this is a very good appetizer. Uh, wasn't expecting it to be this good. It's delicious. It's really, really good. Is that the side salad? It was actually the green salad. So they oh. had like four or five different salads. You can get a side portion, which is what I got, or a full portion. And I think this is a good side salad for an appetizer. It's pretty simple. Lettuce, uh, cucumbers, it has carrots, tomatoes. Um, it comes with a shallot vinaigrette, I believe it is. I asked for ranch dressing, and overall it is delicious. I really like their ranch dressing. Um, sometimes the house-made ranches are just really, really good, and I'm glad I got that dressing. But very refreshing, and I would recommend it for an appetizer. Okay, we ordered an appetizer Here's my entree. I got the scallops. I got fries as my side. And those scallops are huge. And you get four of them too. That's awesome. Hey Melissa, what did you get? I got the chicken and it has Carolina mop sauce and then it had the succotash which has and the, uh, how do you even edamame. Say that? edamame, corn, corn and bacon. And Connor got the steak with mashed potatoes and green beans. All of it I'm gonna show fantastic. you what I can do. Uh, yummy. That is great. That takes a lot of talent and skill. You've been practicing that. Could you please put that down before the steak goes on the floor? <laughs> uh, I'm really concerned. 
<laughs> no, see, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> So I got the chicken with Carolina muck sauce and then the succotash. So let's give it a try. Mmm. It's really, really flavorful. It has kind of a barbecue taste to it, but it's a very thin sauce. And it's all over the succotash. So let's give that a try too. So this has corn, bacon in it, and what is that called again? It's still edamame. <laughs> edamame. He said to pronounce it for me like 10 times. So let's give that a try. Mm. I wasn't going to order that. I was a little nervous about it, but that is delicious. With that sauce all over it, it's really, really flavorful. This is a good dish, and it's a pretty good price for all this food. So. I'm gonna keep eating this chicken and the succotash because it's delicious and I really, really recommend this one. Mm, really good. So I got these scallops. Came out as four um, nice size scallops. Really nice size scallops, which is great. Let's give it a try. Once again, these scallops are cooked to perfection. Um, the honey saffron vinaigrette really comes through. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, I had no idea what that sauce was until I asked. Um, it is a sweeter taste, but then it kind of bitter at the end, which I don't know if it's that's the vinegar portion. Um, but it's good because the scallops are pretty salty, so it kind of balances out. Altogether, it's a great dish. The fries are good. I couldn't be more happy with what I got. It's really, really good, and I would recommend. Very, this. very big scallops. Yeah, it's nice considering we, we just I had some scallops uh, a couple of days ago, and I was saying at that time they were so small. I think it was at BR Guest. Mm -hmm. um, they were the size of a quarter. These things are like four times the size of the ones I had at BR Guest. So these are great, really good scallops. All right, Connor, how's your steak? So for dessert, we decided to get the layer chocolate cake to split because we're both pretty full. Comes with some whipped cream, a dollop of whipped cream I should say, and some berries. And what I think is really nice is uh, for Connor, we asked if we could get some berries and Connor loves raspberries. So we said, hey, could you get some berries? And they said, yeah, it would be a mix of berries. Uh, but we said, hey, could it just be raspberries? We said, she'll see what she can do. She just brought him a whole bowl of raspberries. So he'll be super excited about that. So Melissa won't see this until she starts editing it because uh, she took Connor to the bathroom. But I just tried some of that cake. Oh my gosh, is that phenomenal. So now I have this like internal debate going on. And let me just turn the camera around here so I can talk about this. All right, so here's my debate. This cake came and she took Connor to the bathroom like I mentioned and I tried the cake and it was delicious, phenomenal. So now my debate is, do I eat more of the cake and just say they didn't bring it yet and they forgot about it? Or do I sit here and stare at it waiting for you to get back? These are the decisions that are really tough for me because I really kind of want to eat the cake because it was really tasty. And when something's really tasty, it gets really hard to share. This is such a conundrum. I don't know what I should do. What do I do? Maybe. I know what I do. I'll do. That's a phenomenal cake. That's a phenomenal cake. It's really good. Really chocolatey. You know what? She probably doesn't like really chocolatey cake. Hmm. So, <clears throat> just to update, I haven't eaten the cake yet. I have had about four or five more bites. I don't see them yet. And this is really, really, di really difficult because the cake is really tasty. And I really want to keep eating it. I mean, like, I'm committed now because she knows. She's going to know I ate some of the cake. Like, there's no hiding it. The entire front tip of the cake is gone. Update number three. I still haven't eaten the cake. I mean, I've ate some of the cake. There's still a lot of cake left. 
Still no sign. But they brought the bill. And you know what that means? They want us to leave. So I kind of feel obligated to eat this, the cake. So we got the chocolate layer cake for dessert. Mm -hmm. Very thick to cut through that top chocolate layer. So let's give it a big bite. Mm. Very fudgy. That top layer tastes just like fudge. Very rich chocolate. I think that's pretty good. We haven't had a chocolate cake like this because of the consistency of the fudge on top. I don't know if it's fudge, but it's like fudge to me. But I think that's pretty good. I think this would be really good with some ice cream. Mm. But yeah, I definitely like that one. Good chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the chocolate cake because I haven't yet. I know it's hot, but. I agree with you completely. It tastes like fudge. Um, very rich, decadent piece of cake. Really good. Kind of reminds me of the cake that we had over at Rick's. Mm, Just yeah. a little thicker, mm -hmm. uh, more fudgier, but still really, really good. I also agree with your assessment that uh, ice cream would be phenomenal with this cake. Overall, really good dessert. I have to ask. I see there's blackberries, and I know that this was supposed to come with fresh berries. <laughs> what other berries did it come with before I came back to the table? I have no idea what you're talking about right now. I did not eat any of the raspberries that were on the plate. <laughs> there were only two of them. I didn't eat them. I, I put them in Connor's dish of raspberries mm -hmm. that he got. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think they found their way into my stomach, and neither did the first half of the cake <laughs> um, or the whipped cream that was missing, I had nothing to do with it. So you're telling me you'd probably pass on this one? Yeah, you said not eat Yeah. <laughs> Connor says don't eat it. Yeah, I mean, ooh. If you don't like it, just shoot it away. Just shoot it away, Connor but, says. But I do like it. That's why you ate half of it already. What? <laughs> me? Do I, need to, do I need to talk to somebody about this? Excuse me, my cake. <laughs> so, two thumbs up for the cake. Maybe even a, a third. That's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. You just keep filming, I'm gonna keep eating. <laughs> mm. So, we just finished our uh, meal at Paddlefish, and let me start by saying, wow. wow. I am stuffed, and another amazing meal. For us not trying this place before, I can't believe we haven't because it was delicious. Very good. Uh, start things off with the appetizer of the crab cake. Uh, a lot of different components to it, a lot of different flavors, all outstanding. You had a uh, Green salad. Green salad. Yep, a side salad. And it was just your, you know, plain salad, but it was really good. I really like their ranch dressing. It tasted like it was a homemade ranch. So it's very refreshing and I liked it. All right, and then we moved on to the entrees, which I had the scallops, and that's what a scallops are supposed to be like. Uh, they were huge, they were tasty, a lot of flavors, the fries were good. Everything about that entree was incredible. You had a chicken. Yep, with, I think it was Carolina mop sauce. So it, to me, it tasted like a thin barbecue sauce. And then the succotash, which had corn, bacon, and... Edamame. 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 <laughs> And that was really good. I've never had anything like that. Again, I was going to order a different side and just figured, you know what, I'm just gonna give it a go. You and wanted that edamame. I did, and I'm glad I had that. It was delicious because the sauce that was on the chicken was all over the succotash, and it was really, really good. And what was most surprising to me was the cost of it. Um, for my dish, which I had a lot of food, if you, you know, obviously saw the beginning of the video and saw the pictures of everything, it was only $20 for my meal. And I thought that was a pretty good price for all the food that I got. Um, so I'm very happy with that. I would highly, highly recommend the chicken dish if you come here. Yeah, and then for dessert, we shared that piece of cake, which I didn't try any of it while they were away from the table. I waited till she got back. No wonder you're stuffed. Okay, so I tried half of it before she got back. Just, I wanted to make sure it was good for her. Um, so I didn't want her to come back and have a dessert that wasn't tasty. And 
Luckily, it was tasty. It was really good. Good cake overall. Amazing meal. I say one more thing. Sure. So a lot of times you're gonna come to a restaurant like this to get seafood. So Craig got the scallops. Um, they obviously have a lot of different seafood options, which all sounded delicious. So if you're not a seafood person like me, definitely get the chicken. So don't let that scare you away from trying this restaurant because they do have a lot of seafood, but there are other options. They have filet mignon. They had some different sandwiches. There's a bunch of salads. So overall, it's a good option whether or not you're a seafood fan. And if you like edamame, this is a place to get it. Yes. Like obviously phenomenal edamame. Uh, but anyway, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you're down at Disney Springs, give Paddlefish a try. I know there's plenty of dining options here at Disney Springs, but Paddlefish is definitely a good one. Delicious. So yes, if you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate it. As always, be on the lookout for new content and join us next time when we'll show you why we are loving this world. Have a great evening, everyone. Good night.